A team of international scientists, led by researchers at Newcastle University, has used the James Webb Space Telescope to unveil a hidden veil of dust in a galaxy 70 million light-years away. This groundbreaking discovery focuses on the supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy dubbed ESO 428G14. In this video, we'll explore how Webb's infrared capabilities are revealing the secrets of cosmic dust that were previously hidden from view. So, without further ado, let's get started. Supermassive black holes, found at the center of large galaxies like the Milky Way, are some of the most powerful and massive objects in the universe. These cosmic giants, which can be millions to billions of times the mass of our Sun, drive some of the brightest and most energetic phenomena known to science. When these black holes actively consume surrounding material, when these black holes actively consume surrounding material, they become what's known as active galactic nuclei, emitting vast amounts of energy across different wavelengths of light. However, much about AGNs has remained hidden from view due to the thick clouds of gas and dust that often surround them, making them difficult to observe. This is where the James Webb Space Telescope excels. Designed specifically to observe the universe in infrared light, Webb can see through these dense clouds and reveal details that other telescopes might miss, and one of the early targets for it was the Galaxy ESO 428 G14, which lies about 70 million light-years away. This galaxy, known as a ciphered galaxy due to its bright core, has been studied extensively by telescopes like ALMA and Hubble. However, Webb's advanced infrared sensitivity has allowed astronomers to observe it in unprecedented detail. The findings from Webb, which were published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, uncovered a fascinating structure of dust. From Webb, which were published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, uncovered a fascinating structure of dust surrounding the supermassive black hole at the heart of this galaxy. Surprisingly, astronomers found that much of this dust exists outside the typical ring of material directly feeding the black hole, known as the accretion disk. This outer dust, called polar dust, is heated not by radiation from the black hole, as might be expected, but by shock waves generated by relativistic jets, which are streams of particles moving at nearly the speed of light, ejected from the black hole's poles. Huda Haidar, a PhD student at Newcastle University, leads a study under the Galactic Activity, Taurus, an outflow survey that analyzed data from the James Webb Space Telescope. The research reveals that polar dust around a supermassive black hole is heated by jets, not by the black hole's radiation, challenging existing models of energy distribution in active galactic nuclei. For decades, the unified model for decades, the unified model of AGN has posited that the differences between type 1 and type 2 AGN are primarily due to the orientation of the dusty torus surrounding the supermassive black hole. Type 1 AGN are viewed more face-on, revealing broad emission lines and visible accretion disks, while type 2 AGN are seen edge-on, with the torus obscuring much of the activity. The polar dust exists separately from the torus and interacts with relativistic jets that can extend hundreds of millions of light years into space. This interaction between jets and polar dust has significant implications for our understanding of AGNs and their influence on host galaxies. Traditionally, the dusty torus was thought to play a central role in energy transfer within an AGN, but Webb's observations revealed that jets might have a more crucial role than previously thought. The different temperatures of the polar dust compared to the accretion disks does suggest that the processes in these regions are more varied and complex than the unified model accounts for. Suggest that the processes in these regions are more varied and complex than the unified model accounts for. The discovery of extended mid-infrared emissions from the polar dust, stretching up to 650 light-years from the AGN, underscores the vast scale of these interactions. 
The alignment of the dust with the radio jet, and its perpendicular orientation to the molecular gas feeding the AGN, suggests that multiple processes are occurring simultaneously. This complexity indicates that the distinction between type 1 and type 2 AGNs may need to be revisited, with greater emphasis on the roles of jets and polar dust in AGN dynamics. These findings extend beyond the ESO galaxy, prompting a re-examination of other AGNs, and raising new questions about the mechanisms driving energy transfer in these environments. If jets are indeed key in heating and shaping surrounding material, this could significantly impact our understanding of galaxy growth and evolution over cosmic time. Over cosmic time. Among Webb's most astonishing discoveries are the oldest and most distant black holes ever observed, hidden within galaxies like GN, Z11 and Cirrus 1019. These findings are peering into the cosmic dawn, mere hundreds of millions of years after the Big Bang. Take GN, Z11, for example, a galaxy that existed when the universe was only about 400 million years old. At its core lies a black hole approximately 6 million times the mass of our Sun, a discovery that has left scientists rethinking how such massive objects could have formed so rapidly after the universe's birth. The existence of this black hole suggests that the seeds of supermassive black holes must have emerged and grown at an extraordinary pace, challenging and reshaping previous models of black hole formation and cosmic evolution. Meanwhile, Cirrus 1019, another key discovery, has revealed the most distant active supermassive black hole yet found. This black hole, which existed just over 570 million years ago, this black hole, which existed just over 570 million years after the Big Bang, is not only remarkable for its distance, but also for its relatively modest size compared to other black holes from the same epoch. The presence of a smaller supermassive black hole during this period raises intriguing questions about the diversity of black hole formation processes in the early universe. It suggests that black holes could have developed in various environments and at different rates, offering a more nuanced perspective on their evolution and challenging the idea that all early supermassive black holes followed the same growth pattern. Looking ahead, Webb's potential for future discoveries is immense. Each new discovery will likely refine existing models and stimulate new scientific questions. The ongoing impact of Webb on astrophysics cannot be overstated. It is providing the data necessary to challenge old theories, confirm new ones, and inspire the next generation of astronomical research. Thank you for joining me on this stellar journey. Until next time, keep looking up and questioning the. Thank you for joining me on this stellar journey. Until next time. Keep looking up and questioning more.